This is what 18 million Americans sound like in their sleep. They are sufferers of obstructive sleep apnea, and the sounds they make signal a condition in which their breathing repeatedly stops for seconds at a time and leaves them gasping for breath. Obstructive sleep apnea patients, who are often men over age 40, usually are not aware they have this condition, unless someone has told them. If you witness someone having difficulty breathing at night because of snoring, or trouble with their breathing at all during sleep, uh, you should suggest that they visit their doctor. Uh, there are many ways to help people with sleep apnea get a good night's sleep. Left untreated, the disorder leaves patients tired during the day and a potential risk to themselves and others. Many studies have established that fatigue can increase the likelihood of motor vehicle accidents. For patients with sleep apnea who are heading into surgery, it is critical to communicate openly with your medical treatment team about the disorder. Your anesthesiologist needs to know if you have sleep apnea uh, because all anesthetic agents, be they sedatives, muscle relaxants or gaseous anesthetic agents, can cause the upper airway muscles to relax. Uh, if the tongue were to fall backwards in the throat then this in essence can create an obstruction uh, and lead to difficulty breathing under anesthesia. Patients with a severe form of the condition may be sent to the hospital's intensive care unit following surgery so they can be closely monitored for an additional period. The patient will be released once the anesthesiologist determines he or she can safely breathe on their own. Anesthesiologists emphasize that the first step in avoiding complications during and after surgery is for patients to tell their doctors about their sleep habits and snoring in advance. We want to avoid a situation where we're surprised that a patient has obstructive sleep apnea. This can mean that we'd have difficulty managing the airway on induction and should we manage the airway well on induction and still not know the diagnosis on extubation or when we remove the breathing tube and the patient is expected to breathe for themselves, that might not happen. We could have a lot of difficulty managing the airway in the post-operative period as well. Doctors may treat this condition by prescribing constant positive airway pressure machines at night, oral appliances, surgery or lifestyle changes, including diet and exercise. For a number of sufferers, the cure is as simple as losing weight since obesity is a leading contributor to obstructive sleep apnea. Talk to your doctor if you suspect you or a loved one has sleep apnea.